Hi guys, my name is Rachel Fong, and I'll be your ambassador for all things hashtag Bake It Change. And if you recognize me, you might know me from my YouTube channel, Kawaii Sweet World, where I do a lot of fun baking tutorials. And on that note, I'll be teaching you guys a ton of recipes that are going to be perfect for your Bake It Change bake sales. As you can see today, we have got a tie-dye theme going. As you might know already, this tie-dye cupcake we have here is the signature She's the First bake sale treat, and it is definitely a great staple for your table. Look how pretty these are. They've got all the nice pretty colors in there it's very eye-catching and it gets people to come over to your table and hear about she's the first I'll also be showing you guys how to make these crispy marshmallow pops these guys are so cute and nice and bite-sized we've also got the tie-dye cupcakes of course these rainbow cookies over here and these are perfect if you want to kind of bag up maybe four in a bag and then sell them as a set like that that's a really great option and then over on my channel at Kauai Sweet World I'll show you guys how to make these beautiful rainbow marshmallows but we are not just stopping with this tie-dye bake sale over the hashtag bake a change campaign I'll also be showing you guys two other beautiful bake sale tables and they are perfect to fundraise for she's the first so stay tuned for those and make sure you subscribe to the she's the first YouTube channel and I think that's about it let's go ahead and make these beautiful tie-dye treats now so let's get started first off let's make our tie-dye cupcakes in a large bowl you'll need one stick of nice soft butter and just mix that until it gets nice and smooth that looks perfect now we're going to add in one cup of sugar and just continue mixing this until it gets nice and light and fluffy. Now we're going to add in two room temperature eggs and then just keep mixing. This recipe is super easy to double or triple or whatever you have to do to make a lot of cupcakes. Now you're going to add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that in. Then set that aside for now. And in a separate bowl you'll need one and a half cups of flour along with one and three quarters teaspoons of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. And now just give that all a quick whisk. Then grab your wet ingredients again and you're just gonna add in half of your dry ingredients and mix them in. Once that's looking nice and smooth, add in a half cup of milk. And once again, mix, mix, mix. Then add in the remaining dry ingredients and finish off your mixing. At this point, we're going to equally divide this between six different bowls. And then it's time to color our batter. So you can see I'm using some gel food coloring here, and I've colored these in all the colors of the rainbow. You can see these all look so beautiful together too. I love how these look. And now we're just going to spoon this into our cupcake liners. This recipe makes about a dozen cupcakes, but again, feel free to double or triple it. And just add in dollops of each color. And then once you've filled up all of your cupcake liners, grab a popsicle stick and just start to marble these so you have that nice tie-dye look. Then just bake those off at 350 for 20 to 22 minutes. And then once they come out of the oven, they should look like this. Once the cupcakes have cooled down completely, you can just go ahead and frost them up. The recipe for this buttercream frosting will be in the description box below, but it's super simple. And if you're really in a pinch, you can always use store-bought. I won't tell anybody. And that's all there is to it to your tie-dye cupcakes. These are so, so pretty. Now let's make our beautiful rainbow cookies. In a large bowl, you'll need three cups of flour, along with three quarters teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then just give that all a good whisk. Set that aside. And then in the bowl of your stand mixer, you're gonna add in two sticks of softened butter. Get that nice and smooth, and then add in one cup of sugar. And just mix that until it gets nice and light and fluffy. That is perfect. Now we're gonna add in one egg and one tablespoon of milk, along with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just mix that all through. Now we're gonna add in half of our dry ingredients. I like to add the dry ingredients in two additions, just so you don't have flour flying all over the place. Then you can add in the rest of the dry ingredients and mix until it just comes together. Once your cookie dough is formed, you're just going to remove the bowl of your stand mixer and take out the cookie dough. Then divide it into six pieces and then add your first sixth into the bowl along with some red gel food coloring and just color that up. Now here's the cool part. You actually don't have to wash the bowl in between every color, which is super convenient. It'll save you a lot of dishes. Since we're essentially moving along the color wheel, any residual color actually won't make a difference. So just repeat this process with all of your colors. These all look so pretty. Then cover your dough with plastic wrap and pop that into the fridge for about two hours. Once your dough comes out of the fridge, it should be nice and firm and easy to work with. Now go ahead and flour up your work surface 
and then grab your first color of dough. I split this in half. You really don't have to though, it's just a little easier to work with. Then just knead this in your hands and roll it out into a thin snake. And repeat with all of your colors. This recipe is great if you're making this with some friends, cause then everyone can roll out a different color and it just goes faster. So just roll those all out and smush them together. Then I'm going to fold this in half and then just start to twist it a little bit. This is going to get those beautiful color marbles. Don't worry if it doesn't look like a masterpiece just yet, wait until you roll it out. And you can see this is when the tie-dye really comes into play. It looks super marbled and very, very pretty. You also want to make sure you flip over your dough every once in a while, just making sure that nothing is sticking. And then continue rolling this out until it's about a quarter inch thick. That looks awesome! Now you're going to grab some cute little cookie cutters and just start cutting out your shapes. I like using the little mini cookie cutters because then the cookies bake really fast, which is always convenient for a bake sale. So just cut out all of your shapes and then remove these scrap dough. Don't throw away that scrap dough though, because the cool thing about this is that it is tie-dye after all, so you can just re-roll the scraps and it'll be even more tie-dyed, which is awesome. So you can just keep re-rolling your scraps until you either run out of dough or it turns brown, whichever comes first. Then pop these on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and bake those off at 350 for about 8 minutes or so. And you can see these look so gorgeous, make sure you take them out of the oven before they start to brown. And now if you like, you can decorate them with some royal icing. Royal icing is really easy to make, and I'll put my recipe in the description box below. Or you can buy royal icing from the store, which is a lot faster and easier. And then you can focus your time on making more desserts, which I think is more important in the long run. Alright, so just finish up your cookies. And that is all there is to it. And then finally, let's make our crispy marshmallow pops. In a large microwave safe bowl, melt down 4 tablespoons of butter. Then add in 4 cups of marshmallows. And just melt those down. Should be nice and smooth like this. Then you're going to add in 5 cups of rainbow crispy rice. And just mix it all through. I really like this recipe because it's a good, fast, easy one, but they look really pretty in the end. Set that aside to cool. And then once the mixture has set a little bit, you're going to roll out about 1 inch balls. Make sure your hands are nice and greased up though, just so nothing sticks. And then pop in your lollipop stick. Again, this is a great one for bake sales because you can really have all hands on deck rolling these out. And they look really cute too, they're kind of like a play on cake pops. When I was making these though, I found that sometimes they would fall down the stick, so a good way to secure them is to dip your lollipop stick into some melted white chocolate and then pop it right back in. This way you also kind of have like a white chocolate surprise in the center of your pop, which I think is kind of fun. So repeat for the rest of your pops. And then for the final flourish, you're just going to dip them a little bit into some melted white chocolate again. And then add some sprinkles. These are so cute and they're perfect for a bake sale because they're a really nice grab and go treat. And that's it. Alright guys, all of our tie-dye treats are finished now and these all look so beautiful, especially when you put them all together for your bake sale table. It's so bright and colorful and inviting and people will definitely want to come hear about She's the First and of course pick up some yummy treats too. Anyways though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow She's the First on all of their social media and that will be linked in the description box below. You can also subscribe to the She's the First YouTube channel so you can get lots more recipes and inspiration for your own bake sales and of course for your bonus recipes make sure you head on over to Kawaii Sweet World and I'll show you guys how to make the rainbow marshmallows and I think that's about it. Good luck with your bake sales and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!